you know I don't know if this is still the same or if it still happens but back in the day if a child um, let's say like a young child like a teenager was caught doing weird things or fell pregnant for instance um, everyone was warned every child around was warned not to play do not play with whoever they will corrupt you you know that was the thing and I don't know if it still happens today and I think the reason why I'm thinking about this is that usually this person is just a child <laughs> just a child a 14 year old a 15 year old or a 16 year old who is somehow a corrupter and more in most instances to be honest um, she's probably the one that came home with an evidence or with the evidence you know like she's the one who got caught and the people who are being warned they just never got caught or they never brought home the evidence they just they, they just didn't get caught you know um, kids are kids and kids think with a child mentality they are not old enough to um, to have to make the right decisions for themselves if a child who is 16 years old uh, still needs a legal guardian how do they make choices over their own bodies hmm? and how are we blaming the kids and not the old people that pursue the kids make it make sense <laughs> Today my drink comes in this huge thingy. What do you even call these things? Um, I don't know what you call them, but my drink is uh, water. I'm having water, lemon water, because I'm recording this very early in the morning. But um, something that's been bothering me lately, and it's been a while actually, it's been a while um, when it was really like in my head. It was at a time where I was not filming videos at all. And I thought to myself, you know, one day, when I start my podcast, I'm gonna have a discussion about this, but I think it's gonna take too long because this is a recurring thing. It's, it just keeps coming back online. It keeps coming back online. Um, there's just been this debate online about kids that are seen out with very old men. And when I say kids, I'm talking about 15 year olds, 16 year olds, you know? And I think what a whole lot of people are saying is, where are the parents? I, I think I'm gonna get this one out of the way first. Where are the parents? Like we can blame parents all we want. Thing is, as a parent, you can do everything and i don't want, i don't want to say you can do so much no you can do everything to a point of taking your kid and locking them up somewhere and do not do that that is super weird that is super weird but you can do everything like you can lock the gates and switch off the lights and then you hear that hey your child was hurt somewhere in some party because it doesn't matter kids will make their own decisions every day like what we as parents can do the best we can do is teach them the right way and pray for them and hope and pray that they make the right decisions with their lives um, you can do whatever you want kids will do that I have heard when I was growing up we've heard of stories where um, a parent would wake up and hear that their child was shot somewhere but they locked the house <laughs> their child was in the house sleeping but now they are hurt somewhere you know what i'm saying so as parents we can do everything to protect our kids but the kid at the end of the day because they have a kid brain they have kid mentality they've got kid mentality they'll make their own decisions and do whatever they want to do now when i say or ask if uh the age of consent should be raised it's not because i feel like when they raise the 
age of consent and you know kids are gonna stop doing whatever they need to do i mean kids are kids they'll always make their own decisions but i just believe that we are out here blaming parents why aren't we blaming the predators right if you're a 30 year old man or 40 because you even 40 year old you i can i'm nearly 40 I'm, I'm nearly 40 i'm turning 40 in the next couple of months um i have a 14 year old so to me it doesn't make sense when i see a 40 year old man with a 14 year old 15 year old 16 year old kid that 40 year old man is the one who is um <clears throat> excuse me who is mature enough to know that this is a kid this is a kid i shouldn't be going there i shouldn't be going there at all so when i say um or ask a question should the age of consent be raised i know that kids are still gonna go out but if the age of consent is raised then we can hit the predator you know if now the this 40 year old man is caught with a 15 year old or a 15 year old comes back and they are with the child and it's because of a 40 year old man then they can get arrested right now <laughs> right now right right now the law is is, is on their side so as a 40 year old man or 45 year old man you can go and get a 15 year old girlfriend and it's just perfectly fine you know no not 15 16 but 15 16 14 to me they're the same age i see these 15 year olds that are online that are saying oh leave me alone i'm living my life and all of that uh i look at them and they just they could be my kid's best friend you know because they look the same age because they are in the same age group you know what hey i'm even losing my train of thought what are you as a 40 year old man thinking because you a 14 year old 15 year old can say all of these things 16 year olds they can say all of these things oh leave me alone it's my own life because that's that's where their thinking capacity is at that's where their mentality is at so you know we can sit here and say oh this child is such a bad child what are they doing uh how, why are they you know no the predator is the bad person and if we do raise the age of consent i believe that then you know the predators can be brought to book they can go to jail for you know doing such things so for me i feel like the age of consent should be 18 look if it was my choice like mama my choice it would be 21 but i know it's that it's very unrealistic look guys like you cannot drink alcohol until you're 18 years old but you can give your body you can consent to your body i don't want to say certain words because i i don't know i don't want this video to be flagged as, as it is i think it's going to be flagged but i just feel like this is an important conversation um you cannot drink until you're 18 years old right but you can give your your, your body <laughs> like make it make sense to me like really make it make sense um i think i was just reading this article <coughs> a couple of weeks ago so my memory could be a bit fogged but they said that in america the age of consent is between 16 and 18 depending on the state so in certain states maybe it's 16 in other states it's 17 and other states is maybe 18 but in america the legal age to drink alcohol is 21 so i don't know like make it make sense to me make it make sense like you you have a legal guardian until you're 18 you have a legal guardian until you're 18 but no you can make choices about giving your body to somebody at 16 i just think it's crazy i think at 16 you're still a child you are a child 16 is like what between grade 9 and grade 11 you know most 16 year olds are either in grade 9 10 or 11 it's just you're still a child you're not at a at an age where you should be making such decisions and the law should protect children the law should protect children i believe that um yeah, yeah. That's what I want to say. I believe the children are the future, but no, I believe that children should be protected, and 
um, if the age is raised then you know the predators can go to jail because you are a predator dude you are a predator if you are 45 with a 17 year old you are a predator to me you are a predator even if you are 45 and hanging around 18 year olds like you're old enough to be that 18 year old's father like 21 for me is like it but as i said you know maybe that's just me and my prude self um but yeah i believe that I, like please can you please engage me down in the comment section let me all know what you think let me know what you think um do you think the age of consent should be um should be raised or do you think like i'm just grasping the straws like do you think i'm just do you think i'm just like living in a dream if you think I'm living in a dream and you think that it's unnecessary, it should stay at 16. If you feel like a 16 year old can make those kind of decisions without a parent being around. If, if that's what you feel, and cool, let me know. It, but that's just me. That's just me. I'm not saying that children will stop doing what they're doing. They'll keep doing what they do. Doesn't matter. You can do whatever you do as a parent. A child will always make that decision because they are a child they are a child but an adult the adult the adult that and and, and that 40 year old men he's an adult they're an adult and they can make better decisions they can make better decisions and go for people their own age and leave children alone and the law should just protect those kids that are not ready to make the right decisions for themselves the law can protect them by raising that age you know raising that age so that the predators can get arrested anyway that's my thought that's my random talk today um it's just it's something that's been in my in my mind in my head um tell me what you think tell me what you think down in the comment section below anyway thank you so much for joining me i will see you next time bye bye I believe the children are the future. Give them in, let them lead the way. Oh, is a stop thingy. Let them know the beauty they possess inside. Give them the whatever. Uh, uh.